Hi, my name's Kate and welcome to Spark Lab. Today, we are going to be scientists. As we play, we are going to come up with some curious questions. We can test our ideas and observe what happens. This will give us lots to think and talk about. And we might come up with even more questions. Are you ready? This morning, when I was making my breakfast, I spilled orange juice everywhere. As I was cleaning it up, I realised something really exciting. Take a look at this. Here, I have some blue water and a paper towel. What do you see happening? I can see the water moving up the paper towel. It's almost like it's walking or climbing up. This got me wondering, how well can water move through different materials? And could we use those materials to move water from one container into another? Let's test it out. I'm going to find some materials that I can test out for my experiment. I thought I might use some cleaning cloths, some paper towel, maybe even some napkins. I've also got this old rag that I found that's made out of material. Perhaps you could think of some things that you could use to do an experiment at home. Now, I'm going to cut these materials into strips of about the same size, just to make sure that it's a fair test. Cool. So, now I've cut all my strips of material, it's time to get some water to move. I need to decide which cups I can put some water into and which ones to leave empty. What would you decide? So I'm just popping my food colouring into my different cups. Now it's time to select and test our materials. I'm going to test the cleaning cloths and these paper towels. Which materials would you choose? Wow, look closely. Do you notice anything happening? What do you think is happening to the paper towel? I can see that the water has moved all the way across that paper towel. What about the cleaning cloth? There's already some water in the bottom of the empty cup. This water seems to be moving much faster than the water in the paper towel. Let's find a safe place to put this so we can come back and see what it looks like a little bit later. I'm going to record what it looked like at the start so I can compare it a little bit later on. So, the experiment has been going for about an hour now. Let's have a look and see what has happened. What do you notice has happened? If I touch these materials, they feel very damp. The water has been moving all across them. Let's compare it to what it looked like at the start. At the start, we had some cups that were full and some that were empty. What's happened to our empty cups? I can notice that this cup was full. Does it look full anymore? What do you think has happened to some of the water in that cup? I can see that some of the yellow water has moved from this cup into this cup. Can you see anywhere else that this has happened? I can see that the water is moving from the red cup into this empty cup. But why is the water dripping out the bottom? Well, the water is filling up all those tiny little holes in our paper towel. But the water is also sticking to itself. Eventually, so much water sticks to itself that it becomes too heavy 
and it drops out of the paper towel and into our paper cup. I can also see that there's lots of yellow water moving into this empty cup, but there doesn't seem to be much blue water. The paper towel seems to be working more slowly than our cleaning cloth. What do you predict or guess would happen if we left this for even longer? I set up the same experiment yesterday, and here it is. What do you notice has happened? What do you notice about the water levels in each of our cups? Are there any colours here that we didn't have before? How did we get this purple colour? I think our blue water has mixed with our red water. I have so many more questions about this experiment. For example, what if I had used one of the other materials that we collected? Or what if I had left more of the cups empty? What other questions do you have? You might like to try this experiment with your adult at home. All you need are some plastic cups, some food colouring, some water and some different materials to try out. I always like to have a towel nearby just in case there's any messy spills. And make sure that you take a photograph or you draw a picture of your first experiment so that you remember what it looks like. You might like to try some other challenges at home as well. For example, what happens if you use different amounts of water? Or how could you make some orange water instead? Thanks so much for being a scientist with me today. But the fun doesn't stop here. You can create your own experiments at home and test out your own ideas. Be sure to take a photo of them and share them with us at hashtag SparkLabQM. I'm really looking forward to seeing all your photos. See you next time.